Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 693. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 686 to 697. Hey, in 693, uh, someone asked about doubling your money. How long does it take? Um, well, there's two ways, including a great rule called the Rule of 72. And then we'll also talk about um, looking at an annual rate for real estate and how long it takes a, a property to uh, get to a certain value. These are about time. How long does it how long does it take for an invested amount of money at a given rate to get to some future value? Now if you put a hundred bucks in the bank, you want to double it. It's minus because when we use our financial functions, it understands cash flow. When you take a hundred bucks out of your wallet and put it in the bank, even though it's still yours, that's out of your wallet that's negative. Now the future value is when you take it out and put it back in your wallet. So we're going to uh, do a formula here just so whatever value we put here we'll get a double. Equals, actually let's do it this way. When it comes back into your wallet it's a plus so I'm going to do negative instead of an equal sign. Notice you can do that and then click there. That's why you can't type pluses or negative symbols as the first character in the cell. A lot of times people get in trouble. But negative that times two. So there we get our uh, 200. Now how long? Well you have to know an assumed rate, right? And so we're going to say 7% annual rate compounded one time a year. You use the NPER function. That is the number of periods. NPER, that's the total number of periods. So we're going to put in our input 7. Uh, rate is the uh, period rate. Ours is annual, so we're going to use our annual. Comma, there's no periodic payment, comma, the present value, that's how much we put in. Future value, that's how much we uh, want to take out. Type is at the end, that's not really relevant here. We have, uh, we're just doing a straight future value, present value, and then enter. And there it will tell you 10.24 years. Now the rule of 72 is great. When you have 7%, you have to convert it to a, the number 7 and take 72 and divide it by 7 and it gives you a rough estimate, actually a pretty darn good estimate. So it's always the rule, rule of 72 is 72 divided by 7. Well that's not 7, that's 0 .07 so we multiply by 100. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that's too many. We have to force this multiplication before the division. So we put it in parentheses. And notice, wow, pretty darn close. That rule of 72, totally awesome. Now, same situation. You've um, put some money down on a property. You want to find out how long it's going to take to get to that amount. Uh, I'm shooting this in, what, August 2010. Uh, so. Uh, I don't know where this rate is, but someone said they had this rate, annual rate. Uh, good luck going from 250 to 300,000 in less than 10 years. Uh, but it, nevertheless, there's probably some hot pockets, and so they've estimated that it's 0 0.0738. That is the annual rate. So how long is it going to take this house to get to that value? Equals NPER. We have again an annual rate. I'm going to click right there. Comma, this is all annual, no PMT, present value, comma, future value, control enter. So uh, 2.56 years. All right, NPER, totally awesome. Doubling your money, rule of 72, even for houses. All right, we'll see you next trick.